Aloha and welcome to my leaks and news video like every week on Monday. So today we will talk about um, the rebalance changes and I will do some gameplay on the test server to show you um, yeah, how this um, rebalance work and as you can see we start here with the crisis robot in combination with the long range weapons and you see the first thing it was here the reload time of those weapons so we will start with the crisis bonus to outgoing damage from the overpower ability reduced for the links the force field durability decreased 30 percent less ability duration reduced from six to four seconds ability cooldown reduced from 11 to nine seconds then the nether force field durability decreased by 40 percent ability recharge time increased from eight to 10 seconds per charge movement speed decreased from 58 to 53 this is huge for the nether here then the angler bonus to movement speed from the electric shift ability reduced from 1.8 to 1.3 movement speed decreased from 53 to 50 durability increased uh, 15 percent more durability for this it will be then definitely more a tanker then we are going to uh, the mass robot bonus to movement speed from the remote assault ability reduced from 25 to 15 Agus durability decreased 20% durability decreased 15% Seraph bonus to movement speed from the scaled ability reduced force field durability decreased and um, durability decreased 15% so, leech ability cooldown reduced from 18 to 16 seconds, D meter durability increased to you know, 10%, Revenant side shield durability increased 10%, Aujun inbuilt weapon damage increased by yeah, 15%, Phantom damage reduction from the blink ability increased from 35 to 45 or 55 to 85 defense points. So, it feels like that the yeah, newer bots um, will get not so powerful anymore, but uh, the older ones will be back in the game. So maybe they try to rebalance all the stuff that they are all on a decent good level. Now I play here with the anger and the harpoon weapons and yeah, as you can see, those are not so uh, fast anymore, but I will tell you a little bit later why. Okay, durability bar corrosion effect marker was available on test server 2 on this weekend. Durability bars now highlight damage that will be dealt by the corrosion effect to your robot and enemies. Highlighted with the darker shade of green on your own durability bar and orange on enemies. Sometimes you can see this here in uh, this video. Wow, this was a huge amount of damage I got here. Okay. Let's go back to the rebalance. The Reaper reload time increased from 8 to 12 seconds as you saw for my example in the first minutes in this gameplay video here. Needle spike stake shot interval increased from 0.75 to 1.2. You saw this too. Uh, Agus durability increased by 20%. Then Taji, Jorge, Havanja damage decreased by 30% and effective distance increased from 800 to 1000. 100 meter uh, if you ask me maybe uh, the damage decrease is too high here in this situation but um, yeah we will see what will happen maybe they will change this in the future spear bonus to damage from consequent shots reduced from 1 1.5 2 2.5 1 1 1.3 1 1.9 fainter reload interval increased from 2 to 3 seconds and uh, the cudgel damage decreased 5%. Um, glory, the amount of particles per shot reduced from 30 to 20. So the glory isn't so powerful anymore. It was a great weapon, um, but maybe some will switch now this weapon for the next future. Then sneer scaly hail ammo capacity increased from 40 to 48. Sting ammo capacity increased from 5 to 6. Vault damage increased 5%. Scorch shot interval reduced from 0.1 to 0.09 seconds. Time to empty the magazine 8.5 to 7.65 seconds. Shock range damage increased by 8%. Exodus reload interval reduced. Time to fully reload 25. 
23 seconds rhyme cryo glacier damage increased by five percent and i think that the rhyme cryo glacier will be back in the game i see now a lot of play those weapons again in the champions league but um yeah for the future i think um those weapons will be back soon here against all those shield robots maybe for example like the rook here so it will be a huge rebalance because the titans will be there to rook cooldown to activate shield replacement increased time to teleport in new shields increased so i think for uh, the most of you this will be okay for the rook because he is very powerful in combination with the pilot it is very very strong indra vipassana ability cooldown increased from 14 to 16 seconds vipassana ability duration increased from three to five seconds luchador frog splash ability cooldown increased from 20 to 25 seconds ultimate defense ability duration increased from six to eight seconds serious bonus to movement speed for the deploying turret increased from 10 to 12 durability increased by 20 percent so maybe the serious will be back in the game um, because 20 percent more durability is great and the heimdall titan damage bonus in attack mode increased from 10 to 15 percent durability increase by 10 percent physical shield durability increased by 15 percent and yeah i think for serious and heimdall players you are lucky you are great because your beautiful titans will get stronger and i can't wait um to play them again you know that i really like to use um the support titans like Sirius, like heimdall and uh, with this new increase of um everything yeah i'm very very happy and hopefully you too and here we go to the titan weapons oxy argon shoot interval increased evora virong the amount of particles per shot reduced from three to two particle dispersion increased by 13 percent damage increased 10 percent so cyclone cataclysm the damage increased by 10 percent what is great and the striker damage increased by five percent i don't think that this will change um the yeah strangeness of uh, the striker weapon but five percent more for a sniper weapon is great so at all the big rebalance will join us i think in update 9.2 but i don't really know maybe they will change a little bit on the stats of everything here but uh, for my first uh, play or for my first gameplay here on the test server with all those meter stuff we had uh, I think this was a great step forward because of the sniper. The sniper crisis was too strong in its ability plus um, those strong weapons and I think this will be huge. The same to the Rook Titan. Some other things like the Angler I don't really like because the Angler is a cool robot but not so overpowered anymore. And uh, yeah, let me know what do you think about this all in the comments. That would be nice. Do you like it do you don't like it which kind of nerfs do you like which kind of buffs do you like and yeah let us talk about this under this video here thank you so much for joining please leave a like don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell then you never will miss any of my giveaways and news and leaks videos bye bye everyone have a wonderful start into the new week Aloha. To find some balance in my life I never really put up a fight And now I'm losing sleep